TFNN Headline News Update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 10 a.m. Eastern Time on Thursday, 30 minutes into the trading day. And we have a pretty calm market to start things off. S&P is negative by four points, trading at 2810. Dow Jones negative by seven points, trading at 25,696, and the NASDAQ positive by five points, trading at 76.48. Dollar index, a little bit of strength, up 228 ticks, trading at 96.740. Notes and bonds, lower price, higher yield. 10-year note, negative four ticks, 122.24. 30-year bond, negative 10 ticks, 145.26. Gold contract pulling back a bit after yesterday's increase in price. Today we got it down $14.1295 on the dot and oil up 27 cents trading at 58.53. We'll start things off. We'll jump over to the futures markets and we'll start it off with the Dow. So quite a spike as we were at highs at about 6 a.m. this morning of 25,827. So you're more than 100 points of where we're trading at right now. We bounced down to a low just prior to 7 a.m. this morning, and we're approaching that same level. You get the Dow futures trading 25,713. S&Ps, pretty similar story. About 6 a.m. this morning, we trade from 2824 down to about 2811, currently just above that level with the S&P June contract trading at 2813. NASDAQ 100, again, much the same, 6 a.m. this morning, trading at 73.18. We trade down to a low just in the last 15 minutes or so, trading at 72.72, just above that level, 72.85 in the NASDAQ 100. Crude contract with some volatility as well this morning. About 5 a.m., we're trading at 58.65. You have crude trade all the way down to almost $58. Missed it by about a penny, and we're back up 58.62 in the price of April crude. Gold contract pulling back for most of the overnight session. Your highs made last night at about 3.30 of 13.11. We're now about $15, $16 below that price level with gold trading at 12.94.61. And euro, US dollar, euro currently trading 113 on the dot. What else you have happening this morning? GE getting a bit of a rebound as their CEO sees the power business bouncing back next year. They're going to burn about $2.7 billion in 2000, no, excuse me, they, yes, burned 2.7 in 2018. It could be worse in 2019, but nonetheless, 2020, they might be positive. And GM on that news, ah, pulling back a bit. It wasn't positive. Stay tuned, folks. Come back at 10 o'clock with Tom. Have a great Thursday.